All right, this is just a quick video on the Garmin FootPod. And what I've done here is I've put some Velcro on the back and then I can use it on my five fingers and there's just a little piece of Velcro right, right there and it stays on. But what I really wondered is how accurate is this thing? So I, what I've done is I've calibrated the FootPod using a known distance and then I decided to go out for a run with a few different devices and to see how it would measure up. So I, 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 have, I went out for a run and I used a couple different uh, GPS's and uh, I used these two GPS's plus the Garmin Forerunner app on the iPhone and then to verify the distance I also ran with a measure wheel so this tracks so I knew exactly where two miles was and I just did a short two mile run and what I did was uh, I got for my for the foot pod with the with the Garmin 310, I got 1.98 out of two miles, and then with the 205, this was using GPS technology. I I got 1.99 miles, and then with the iPhone and the Garmin Fitness app, I got 2.1 miles. So that was quite a bit off. So basically, the foot pod and the Garmin. We're really close. I mean, that's super accurate for, for your, you know, that's about as, as accurate as you can ask for. So basically some limitations of this, of the foot pod is that it's going to be pretty accurate, like, like I found on that two mile run, depending on what pace you calibrate at. So if you calibrate the foot pod at, say, a 10 minute pace, which is the pace that I ran with my dog, so I calibrated it at that pace before I ran, it's going to be very accurate for that 10 minute pace. But as you say, you start running a five-minute pace, then the, the 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 accuracy goes off quite a bit. And what I've found is um, this can be really helpful for running on treadmills, in, in that it can uh, import your data into your Garmin Connect online account um, without having to manually type everything in. But it's not accurate enough if you want to use it for something like time trials or faster runs, like I do. So when I'm on the treadmill, I calibrate this to about a 5:30 pace. Uh, because that's the pace that I do a lot of my faster runs at and I want to get accurate data for those but I've actually found that I end up using the distance that's on the treadmill and this is just kind of a backup and kind of a fun thing to see so on the treadmill I've actually ran a few miles with this thing and the treadmill is spot on but the foot pod, foot pod is always a little bit off like today I ran a 5k time trial in around 17 minutes and the foot pod said I ran 2.99 miles where the treadmill distance which was measured with the actual measure wheel uh, said it was 3.1 so I'm gonna go with the actual distance but this is just kind of something fun to look at afterwards and it also measures your stride length and your stride efficiency and I'm not sure how accurate that is but it's just kind of a fun thing to see after the fact